<laughs> Hello guys, welcome to the internet, Crazy Lomorph here. And we are on Aviary Attorney. So it's my first ever let's play. I hope you like it, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you do whatever you want in front of it. Even no, no, don't do that. And uh, that's it. Let's play. Click to begin. New game. January 1st. 1848. The Chateau Crinière of Baron Rogery. <gasps> A frog! Froggy was killed! Is that Monsieur Grenry? Oh mon dieu! Dame Catherine, what have you done? Act 1, a cat with clothes. <laughs> it's midday already. Where on earth is that feather head? Say his parents. Well, well, well. Look who finally decided to get up. Have you until you heard what they say about the hurly bird, Falcon? Falcon, punch! <laughs> In your face. Ay, too early for worms. Pass the Cabernet Sauvignon. There'll be time for that later. We've got some business to handle first. Business? A letter arrived while you were sleeping. I haven't opened it yet. It's probably just more junk mail. Go ahead, Sparrowson. You may have the honors. Alright. <coughs> Dear Monsieur Falcon, I am writing you I am writing to you today because my doctor, Dame Catherine, has been arrested for a crime she did not commit. She's being held at La Conci Conciergerie prison on the charge of murder, no less. Her trial is in three days' time. I would be greatly in your debt if you would off offer her your legal aid. Yours sincerely, Senor Pur Toire de Miaou of the De Miaou Estate. Well, this is quite something. I know, your first serious clients in month. Not just that, the De Miaou Estate is well known for its exuberant wealth. Even if we cannot do much for Dame Cartolin, his lordship will still reward us handsomely for our effort. Wow, so I suppose you intend on defending Dame Cartolin in court? Nope. <laughs> I think not, Baronson. The fate of a fat cat bourgeois is none of my concern. Pass the Cabernet Sauvignon already. What? With all respect, Falcon, we've been knowing nothing for the past two weeks. Anything would be better than another day of Tom Twindling. Still. Come on, let's be productive member of society. Alright, alright. You've twisted my arm. Let's head, let's head to La Conciergerie at meet your client. Excellent. My derriere was getting tired from all this sitting around. Oh! But I better file away Senor de Miaou's letter first. One moment, Falcon. Pure Trois letter has been added to your evidence folder. You may access the evidence folder at any time by clicking the suitcase symbol. Right here. Ah, nearly forgot my wallet. I wouldn't want to lose that. Again? I recall you losing it at the New, Year New Year's party. And at Christmas. Yes, alright. No need to make a list. Falcon has picked up his wallet. Someone is playing dead car? I don't care. You may see how much money is carrying at any time by clicking on the wallet symbol. Let's make a move. And here we are at the map screen. Welcome to the map screen. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. <laughs> From here you can travel to any listed area by clicking on a location name or a location node. Areas marked with a clock symbol take a whole day to visit. Areas with no symbol can be visited freely. And I guess we're going to the office again. Right? <laughs> Falcon, why are we back in your office? We have a case to solve. I was just procrastinating. Well, stop it! We need to get back to helping Dame Catherine. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so we going. We are going. 
For centuries, the infamous conciergerie prison has detained the accused and the condemned alike. A sign on the door reads the aviary attorney at offices. No case is too big or too small. No junk mail. <laughs> so we're going to La Conciergerie and it's gonna take a whole day to visit. Falcon and Sparrowson step into the stone cold foyer of the Conciergerie prison. Conciergerie prison. Sullen faced guard and visitors linger beneath the medieval archways. Ah, the conciergerie. They say this is the finest prison in the whole of France. Ah, uh, and in case you didn't know, I'm French. So I know that what they're talking about. I don't. The outer walls are impenetrable. The cells are spotless. The guards are well manoeuvred. What do you want? Good day, monsieur. I am here to see Dame Catherine Demiau. I am due to represent her in court. Oh, you're a lawyer, huh? Fine, fine, follow me. Well, what are you waiting for? Keep up! <sighs> My papa hasn't forgotten about me, has he? <laughs> Is that voice annoying? I don't know. My papa hasn't forgotten about me, has he? Dame Catherine de Miel, I presume. You have arrived. You've arrived! The fantastic lawyer, Monsieur Falcon, and his petit assistant, Sparrowson. My lady is no legible. Yeah, I, I know that word, don't worry. <laughs> is no legible. Don't. Don't talk like that, Sparrowson. Sorry. My papa told me that he would only hire the best lawyers in town. I'm flattered. Yeah, we are. But they weren't available at such a notice, so yeah, he's the first people in the address directory. That was not nice. And... The music. Play the, pa the piano. The piano. God damn it! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you see, Falcon? I told you listing at the aviary attorney would pay off. Let's get down to business. Dame Catherine, could you fill us on some details? Your father's letter was a little brief. I can do my best. What is it you wanted to know? What happened on the night of the murder? Who was there that evening? Did you see anything suspicious? What happened on the night of the murder? That's the obvious question. What exactly happened on the night of the murder? Um, let me think. It was Friday evening. Me and my papa... Uh, sorry. <laughs> Me and my papa had arrived at Chateau Crinière, Crinière, the home of Great Baron Rorgueil. My papa spent all evening talking with Monsieur Greenwee and the Baron about business stuff. Business stuff? Well, the three of them own a railway, a railway <laughs> company together. So all through dinner, they were talking about company shares and investments, but I didn't really understand much of it. Most of it. But after dinner, this man with a camera took our photograph. That was a lot more fun. Sorry, man with a... With a what? Took you what? <laughs> Sorry, man with a what? Took you what? A camera. It's a very new gadget. Really? A tiny box sits in a box with a tiny <laughs> What? A tiny box sits in a box with a tiny paintbrush and paints your picture very fast. In 10 minutes, poof! You have a perfect picture. Wow, technology is amazing. I don't think the lady's explanation is right, Maronson. Psha, let me believe. Still, the camera sounds like a very special device. I'll make a note of it. Camera has been added to your evidence folder. So, this is the evidence folder. Pertua's letter. Senor Pertua de Miao was requested legally for his doctor Catherine, she's being held as a surgery. A camera, a photographer named Robitio attended the banquet. Okay. And I have 20 francs. 20 francs! Please continue, Dame Catherine. So after we had the photograph, I went into the garden to get some hair, and that's when I found the body of Mr. Greenway. He was all ripped open. I also made some misunderstanding over the froggy monsieur and called for help, and then the police arrived. Before I could say anything, I ended up here. 
It was such a blur. It must have been terrifying. It wasn't so bad. My papa told me you to be a brave cat. Was there something else you wanted to ask, Monsieur Falcon? Was there that evening? Did you see anything suspicious? Was there that evening? We're gonna do it in order. Dame Kathleen, who attended the banquet that, that evening? Well, there was me and my papa, my dearest maman, couldn't make it. And there was Baron Morgay, who hosted the dinner, and his host maid, Colleen, I think she was called. And uh, who hosted the diner? So, Baron Warrior hosted the diner, okay? And this uh, house maid, Colleen. Of course, there was Monsieur Greenway. Well, until you know, he died. And there was Monsieur Robitio de Robinho. <laughs> the man with the camera. But he was only there for a little while. Hmm. I think that was all. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Did you see anything suspicious? Dame Kathleen, did you see anything suspicious that evening? Suspici suspicious? Suspicious! <laughs> like, um, maybe a guy looking in the shadow or a bloody head murder weapon. Monsieur Falcon, I do believe you are looking for an easy answer. You got me. <laughs> Featherhead. I did not see anything, I am afraid. The evening was very normal, the food was delicious, the conservation was boring. It was all very ordinary until the incident. I see. Wait! Falcon, you missed something of huge importance. I did. Then Kathleen, you said the food was delicious. But you didn't say what food it was! Oh my god! You and your damned stomach. Let me see. We had poached red herring to start, garnished with garlic butter. Go on. Then a marble steak served perfect bloody wear. Glorious. Falcon, what is this done? What? This can possibly be relevant to the case. Why did I learn? Please, for me. Fine, fine. Red herring has been added to your event folder and bloody wars take too. Sponson, remind me no, not to let you talk to clients on an empty stomach. Come to think of it, I did find it a little strange that we weren't given, given any cutlery. No cutlery? Even for the steak? Nope. You will think that the great baron of Chateau Crinier would have gorgeous silverware, but there was nothing to be seen. That is a little peculiar. Was there anything else you wanted to know, Mr. Falcon? No, I think that will be all. So what's the plan for now, Falcon? The way I see it, we have two tasks. We should head to Chateau Crinière and try to see the scene of murder for ourselves. And we should try to track down this supposed photographer, Monsieur Robitio de Robinio. Two days for two tasks? Seems doable. But we should get head back and get some rest for. We have a lot of work ahead of us. Wait, Mr. Falcon, before you go. You do believe my story, don't you? I believe in justice. Then, Kathleen, I believe that a fair trial can draw the truth from any situation. I believe in justice. Bravo! Bravo! Woo! Woo! Okay. That's good to hear. You're not wrong, Falcon, but that's not what the lady needed to hear. You might want to work of being less of a... How to put it? <laughs> <laughs> what? You might want to work on being less of a, how to put it, fils de pute, who say the son of a bitch. <laughs> but in French, it's, it's, it's uh, more vulgar than when you say son of a bitch in, uh, in English. <laughs> if serving justice make me a fils de pute, then I'll wear that title proudly. day. Dame Kathleen, Mr. Greenway. Baron Warger, these names are all getting a bit confusing, aren't they? Not particularly. Well, it is for me. I'm going to start compiling a Facebook <laughs> so that I can keep track of what of who everyone is. A what? A Facebook! It's a collection of people's name, picture, and description in one easy to carry catalog. Um, isn't that called? Um, <laughs> I know the word in in French. A uh, trombinoscope, but I don't know the word in English, so we call it a Facebook anyway. 
I think I understand. The name could use a little work for. <laughs> Sparrowson has started complaining at Facebook. Okay. JJ Falcon, the VR attorney himself. Sparrowson. Falcon suave and courageous lucky. What a handsome fellow. Pertua Demiau, the wealthy father of Dame Catalin. Pertua, I, I, I read us to defend Cat Dame Catalin in court. Quark, a Neil Manoel jailkeeper, seemed to feel disgust for criminals and for animals in general. Catalin de, Ma de Mayau, whoops, fault, right here, right here. <laughs> de Mayau, the elegant bourgeois doctor of senior Pertua de Miau, she has been accused of murdering Mr. Greenway. Greenway, the foggy businessman who was found murdered at Chateau Queen, a colleague, 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 how do we say that? Of Pertua and Wargay. Okay. Next Facebook. I have six friends. You can access a list of people you have met at any time by clicking the book symbol. Let's make a move. Okay. A new day. The game saves automatically at the start of each new day. But you can also make a quick save at any time by selecting Save Quit from this pause menu. You can access the pause menu by clicking on the clock symbol in the upper left corner or by pressing the escape key. Right there. So... It's already been 89, 88 minutes. So I'm gonna do another and I stop there and do a part 2. Because if it's too long, people are not gonna watch anyway. What happened if I go to A office again? Procrastinating again, <laughs> aren't you? And if we go to the conciliary? What do you want? I am JJ Falcon, different attorney for. I know who you are. I saw you come back earlier, but visiting our over. Come back next week. Do you think you could make an exemption for us? Visiting, <laughs> visiting our over. Will be quick. I said, visiting hours are over. Do you, do you bald brain understand? Parlez-vous français? I don't think he's going to make an exception, Falcon. You're right. Let's continue on our investigation. So, where are we going? Chateau Crinière or Studio de Robinho? He like the home of Studio de Robinho, up and coming photographer. I feel like the Chateau Crinière will be longer. So, we're going to Studio de Robinho. So, this is the studio of the famous photographer. Shall we knock? Wait, there's a note on the door. On the door. <coughs> the magnificent and marvelous artist, Monsieur Robitio de Robinho, is currently out of, on an artist expedition. We shall he shall return when his muse sees fit. When his muse sees fit? What does that even mean? I think it means I <laughs> that he is a princess, pretentious bird brain, but in any case the artist seems to be out. What shall we do now? Hmm... <laughs> we should knock anyway. We should knock anyway. Alright, I don't see the arm. Nope, it doesn't look like he's in Falcon. We should break in! <laughs> We should... We should break in. WHAT?! Are you serious?! Maybe. <laughs> Monsieur JJ Falcon, I would have thought that a man of justice like yourself would be against such reckless display of unlawful barbarism. You're right, I'm sorry. I know what came over. It's a brilliant suggestion! Stand back, I'm bagging the door now. <laughs> what the fuck?! Wait, just like that? Shouldn't we discuss this first? <laughs> what the fuck? What did Burgess in name was that? You said you wanted to break in! I thought we could find an open window, I didn't think you would turn into a bird sizing cannonball. Well, now we're here, to, we ought to make the most of it. No, wait. Well, now we're here, we ought to make the most of it. This place is quite something. It's very. swanky. And the music. I was, I was going to say, unstentatious. That's just swanky talk for swanky. 
We don't have time for this. The sound of a door being smashed could be drawing unwanted attention. We should find anything that may help our case and get out. In investigation mode, you are free to examine the scenery of the room. Click on an item of interest and Falcon will examine it in closer detail. When you have had enough or when you can find nothing else to examine, click on the X in the top right corner. Select an area to examine. Hmm. Let's do it from the right. I see a bourgeois tigress in profile. I see paints, inks and dyes. I'm not quite sure what the clear liquid in this bottle is. I could test, uh, <laughs> taste test it. You could, but we don't have time for a hospital visit right now, so let's not. I see a finely dressed dandy fellow upon our house. This appears to be a photograph of <laughs> for you. Some of you may know a Saturday. Here it is. This appears to be a photograph of a ladder. La ladder. Ladder. Symbolic of clay big towards success, perhaps. It looks more like a step ladder to me. Oh no, we're not getting into the old argument. A beautiful picture of the Sparrow sk skyline. Given the angle, this must have ta be take been taken from Notre Dame Cathedral itself. This is a photograph of a castle in somewhere in the countryside. You know, I once had an uncle who once fell of a castle rampart while on guard duty. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Did he die? No, he got the mouth head. Bravo, Sparonson. Nice joke. Nice joke. Okay, terrible. A chandelier? A chandelier? You should get one of those for the office. I don't have the money for that sort of luxury. Yeah, you don't. A butterfly? Or maybe a moth? It's difficult to tell in black and white. And white. A lighthouse? No, wait, it's a man in the top hat. Actually, if I squint and turn my head sideways, it's a black smudge, Falcon. <laughs> this is a tiny photograph of what appears to be a jail cell. That reminds me. How illegal is this? <laughs> you know, breaking and entering, riffling to a person belongings. Uh... <laughs> it's cool, we're lawyers. It's okay, a recently passed amendment allows for proportional amounts of property damage in the pursuit of criminal evidence. I don't think that's correct, but your use of legal jargon makes me have faith in your credentials. It sounds like you're starting to learn the finer points of the French justice of the French justice systems. Ah, systems, pardon. This is a picture of a fence. It's a fancy photograph. It leaves the viewer defenseless. All over the picture here, I will pick it at my. S <laughs> I will pick it at my favorite. <laughs> okay, I'm done. No more friends puns. A picture of a sailing ship on a windy day. And the last one. Hey Falcon, look. What? It's just an easel. No, no. Look what at what's on the easel. Oh, wow, this must be a copy of the photograph from the evening of the murder. There's no question about it. I see a housemaid, Dame Catherine, and I think that's Senor Poutroy, Catherine's father. So, what shall we do? Do we just take this? We should take it. We've come this far. We may as well borrow it. Studio photograph has been added to your evidence folder. Is there anything else we need to do here? I don't think so. A photograph we borrowed from Robinet Studio. It shows Coulin, Catherine, and Pertoir. Okay, I think it's done. I think we're done snooping. Let's get rid of all of here before we draw further, further attention to ourselves. Sounds good to me. And. Oh, oh. 
Oh mon dieu What happened to my door uh... Tell the truth lie. Hmm... Some kids did it. Little weasel types. We saw them. Yeah, weasels. They were all like, let's break into the hard guy house. And we were like, no weasels. You cannot do that because that would be illegal. And then they were like, we shave them off. That's an important thing. Well, thank you, I suppose. Let's make a move. Trial days is approaching fast. Right, let's go. <laughs> he bugged it. A new day. And uh, before I cut the video off, let's go to Studio de Robinho again to see what's happening. If I go to there again. Oh, so it is true that what they say. Criminals do return to the scenes of the crime. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I was... Ah, I don't know what I was thinking coming back here. Back here. We already got what we came for. You are strange, bro, Falcon. <laughs> I love how the door looked. Okay, guys. Um, this is the end of the first part. I know you must be sad. I am. But there's gonna be a, fa a second part. Because I'm gonna keep playing. It's just not to make the videos too long. You know? So... Have a nice day. Have a nice anything you want. And I'll see you later, guys. Bye.